federal government is working with state governments to put caps on coal and gas prices to drive down electricity prices. Sky News political editor Andrew Clannell today broke a story that New South Wales and Queensland have been approached by the federal government to cap uncontracted coal at $125 a tonne and gas at $13 a gigajoule. Now, that coal price of $125 a tonne compares with today's Newcastle thermal coal spot price used for electricity generation of US $408 a tonne or $608 Australian a tonne. But even that's causing confusion in the industry. Now, just to explain, in New South Wales, around 80% of the coal is contracted at prices between $60 and $80 US a tonne. The remaining 20% of coal, uncontracted, that can be sold overseas. And as we said, that's above $400 US a tonne. But it's the uncontracted coal that the government wants to price cap to force it into the local market. The other impact of a cap is it will reduce the economic viability of any future renewable energy projects. They'll simply be less competitive. So it also opens up the federal government to compensate the states and the coal companies billions of dollars in lost revenues or royalties. For now, the government's political priority clearly is to take pressure off short-term energy prices. For all taxpayers, the bigger question is, at what cost?